In this lesson and the two lessons to follow, we'll introduce features that are supplied with LXI Expert. In this lesson, we will cover some of the newer shapes such as polygons, starbursts, and advanced borders. We'll cover how they are drawn, their values with Design Central, and control points that can adjust the shapes. After that, we will cover creating inlines and outlines, some of the combined tools such as Weld and Cutout, and other newer tools that are supplied with LXI Expert. While we will cover several tools extensively in this lesson, we suggest that you experiment with these effects on your own. Only then will you be able to see how they will affect your designs. Here we have a design that was created previously. We are going to make some changes so that the design will end up like this. There are three changes we are going to make. First, we are going to make the circle thicker. Then we will cut the outline of the leaves from the circle. And lastly, we are going to change the font to a brush script and discover some challenges when using script fonts. Each of these projects will incorporate tools such as the inline outline tool and some of the combined tools. As we are covering these tools, we'll also go over the different options available for each tool. Before we start this project, let's pull out the toolbars that contain the tools that we need to finish this design. As a habit, always try to anticipate the tools you'll need for the design. This way you can pull the toolbars you'll be needing prior to starting the design speeding up the process of designing. Let's pull out the effects toolbar. To do this, you'll notice this button here has a little arrow that indicates there are other tools that are a part of it. If we click and hold this button, we can see the effects flyout toolbar. Let's drag it out and place it in the space at the top. Let's do this for the weld toolbar as well. Our first goal is to take this circle and make it thicker. We can use the inline outline tool for this purpose. Let's switch to a different design to demonstrate how inline outline tool can be used or applied. In the drawing area, there is a simple line, which is considered an open shape, and a star, which is a closed shape. Both objects are selected, so if we click on the inline outline tool, an outline forms immediately on both selected objects. Looking at Design Central, there are a couple of options that will help shape the outline. The first option determines whether to make an outline of the object or inline of the object. Let's switch it back to outline. The value just below it is the distance between the object and the outline. Increasing this value will increase the size of the outline. Let's reduce the size of the outline a little. The offset value as it is increased will place a gap or white space between the object and the thick outline. This next value adjusts the amount or number of outlines or inlines for creating some interesting effects. This pull-down button allows us to choose the corner type on closed objects. The first choice makes all the corners sharp. The other choices are round or with a chamfer. The next pull-down button is for how open shapes and path endpoints will be shaped. The choices are extended, rounded, and short. Keep Original, when checked, will do just that. It will keep the original object intact, whereas if it is unchecked, it will automatically remove the original object. To show this, we will separate the outlines from the object by clicking on the green checkmark button. Right-click the object, select Separate Outline from the contextual menu, and move the outline out of the way and see that the original has been removed. The next setting is of course the color of the outline. In most cases, you'll want to keep the object's original color, but if you needed to change the color, you'd use the color palette pull-down menu.
The outline or inline can be adjusted visually. Notice the two control handles on the outline. These can be used to adjust the outline. The outside control handle adjusts the width of the outline, whereas the inside control handle allows us to indicate from which point we want to make these adjustments. To accept the outline or inline that we created, press Enter or click on the green checkmark button within Design Central.